What up, TikTok? Hey, hope everybody's having a great Friday. Hey, don't let anything that's negative in your life dictate the rest of your life. Does that make sense? Hey, we all go through some hard times. We all go through some emotional stressors, maybe at work, maybe at home, whatever it may be. Don't let that dictate who you are and how you react to the rest of the things that life throws at you. Does that make sense? Like if you're feeling pissed off and angry all morning or all day, you're gonna take that energy and you're gonna present it to everybody else that surrounds you, your loved ones, your soldiers, whoever it may be. You're gonna use that negative energy and it's just gonna make everything worse. Try to be positive, pick something positive in life that's going really well, use that positive energy and let that dictate the rest of your day. We can harp on the negatives, we can harp on the bad things that are going on in life. It's not gonna help us. It's not gonna help us move forward. Stay strong, keep pushing, drive on, happy Friday. What's up, Trash Talkers? Hitting you up this morning with a special promo on how to dress when you're doing PT in civilians, but you want everybody to know you're an army. This comes from the Buddy Beckwith fashion design of how to work out. So first, you can notice the RI panties. Not Ranger panties, but Ranger instructor panties. The green socks, the knee brace for the old guys. Don't forget the M frames. Now the shirt, don't wear the trash talk shirt while you're running. This is just for the promo. You wanna put on like an 80 second shirt or like your favorite airborne shirt. So everybody knows that you're a veteran. That's the most important thing. And you start with this stretch. Buddy Beckwith taught me this one. Ready to go. So, I'm walking out of the gas station and my co-worker, who's an old MP, but we still claim him, uh, and he's, has engaged the man in conversation. Not much for conversation with strangers, but he's got the he's got the tab, so. As I walk by, I say airborne, and the man responds with, and I quote, Oora. So, after I instructed my co-worker to slash every single tire before he put the car in gear, I look for the biggest rock. Uh, as I crow hop to throw it through his back window so he can stop posing as one of us, um, I actually wake up and realize that the man's ignorance had incapacitated me for a moment and I was daydreaming. I mean, because in that moment you got two options. I chose the third option and said, incorrect, that's an incorrect response. And I kept walking, the man said nothing and he pulled away. So, you tell me. What is it, a stolen valor thing? No Marine's gonna have an airborne tab, and no paratrooper's gonna say, hit an oora. So, you tell me, stolen valor. Hey y'all, going to work. I left, babe, I left you a note on the, on the refrigerator. I love y'all, I'm gonna go. Hey, go get dressed, get ready for school. You're doing great. Now we're just chewing around, chewing along, chewing along. Shit! Bad guys! Stop! everybody cheers hey happy saturday welcome to episode 99 of the trash talk hour shout out to our sponsor 10th mountain whiskey go check them out at 10th whiskey.com type in vtt and get a discount special guest today is jen and tom from the all secure foundation and today i'm joined by nick and buddy how's everybody doing today good i'm great Pretty today awesome. Awesome. I'm great this is gonna be a rough night it's going to be so a good good. us together here. We need to come up with something for 10th Mountain Whiskey, like 10thwhiskey.com. Tenth in the 10th Whiskey. I agree. I agree, buddy. Buddy must have just like taken that. a marketing class at Austin P. 
So it I'm, should be yeah. changed. Okay, first of all, first of all, <laughs> uh, I don't like the way you're saying Austin P as if it's not the Harvard of the Southeast. It is not what it is. It is. It is. No, but it's no, not the no, Yale. No, it's no, not the Yale of the Southeast. Hey, well, look, if somebody there, tells you they went there, then it is the Harvard of the yeah. Southeast. Yeah, yeah. There, is, there, is, there is absolutely no measuring stick that can measure the amount of penis I have for Austin P. It's, I'm, this penis is so strong with me. <laughs> That sounds like that's a conspiracy we could talk about. Yeah, that definitely is. <laughs> there was zero you know, uh, proof for logic. Apparently, you know, yeah, Walmart makes like college and and high school football shirts. Mm-hmm. They uh, they made one for Austin P. And it was like, show us how big your penis is. Like your yes, you know, got it. It's, yeah, penis. They took it off the shelves pretty Interesting. quick. So hey, realized. that's a great way to get <laughs> the show. Yeah, didn't have uh, talking time. about penises. All right, buddy. Mm. Good, good, I mean, good deal. I, yeah. Talking about the amount of spirit one that goes to matriculates from Austin P State University has. Hey, I'm sorry, are you an Alabama fan of football now or Austin P? Because Austin P is playing today. Today, uh, all right? Both. Both. Yeah, okay, and, yeah. uh, I would have I would have <laughs> gone to the Austin P game, but, but it I wasn't have, in uh, Austin P. It wasn't. No. It would I would have traveled. It was in Western Kentucky. Yeah, which is not far from I mean, we are just south of Western Kentucky. So Nice. Awesome. Well, yeah. like we do every Saturday, we're going to kickstart this uh, dumpster fire with a conspiracy theory. And again, I took some notes, buddy. I, I, not that many, okay? So don't lose your shit again, all right? Can we just Five. hit like you one or two points the guests. at a time? Yep. yep. We already did <laughs> that. We? Yeah, we, we already did, did that. that. Are you drunk? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were sending me pictures from El Paso. He's already drinking. So today Ooh. we're going to talk about the bohemian grove okay uh for those of you that don't know where it's located um there's about 2700 acre plot of land in california where every july uh the world elites and politicians meet okay uh presidents have been there george bush reagan oil Clinton. sheiks like everybody meets there and they do this crazy shit. i guess they they pray to an owl like Owl. Druid religion, yeah. yes, oh, it's great. an owl, like a Jewish princess. Yeah, I don't know. There's like supposedly a sacrifice that happens there. It's obviously not a real body, you would think, right? Um, There's space sacrifice. The Manhattan Project was discussed there, uh, which led to the atomic bomb. That is actually been discussed and brought out. It's actually evidence. All right, Nick, I looked it up. Um, In a book, only only men are allowed at this club. Um, apparently they run around naked and like scream weird shit while they're doing this sacrifice. Um, it's just all kinds of weird stuff. And there's always demonstrations going on every July saying, Hey, we don't want this to occur here because all these world, world elites are coming together and discussing like politics and like new the way for new world order, Illuminati, all kinds of stuff. So this place definitely exists and the world elites definitely go there. And they pray to this owl, okay? So Alex Jones snuck in there like 10 years ago. So there's videos. Oh, with that rather. Yeah, yeah. There's videos on YouTube where he like snuck in and took pictures and video. And like it's a bunch of dudes just like running around screaming at shit. And so I don't know what's going on there. I do think it's probably some crazy Illuminati shit. Who knows? Um, and I would, I, would, I would venture to say that maybe some decisions are made there that regard the new world order and how we operate and like some political decisions or whatever. But um, yeah, I don't know. What's everybody's take? Is this just, uh, you know, just a party amongst the elites or, you know, just like the new, you know, the skull and well, bones. We should, we should break it down. And, like, is there, do you, you believe that there's actual sacrifices there? I, see, I don't do you know. you think it's Illuminati? Do you think so, it's the new world order? Like what, what is the conspiracy? I don't know. So like they say that the owl is from Molak which the Molech God or something has talked about it. Molech or Who? whatever his name is. <laughs> you beat me Molech. to it, man. Uh, <laughs> I was going to do that earlier. Yeah, yeah, it's like some uh, God that's talked about in the Bible used to sacrifice kids and shit, like some oh. kind of worshiping stuff. So, And that owl, Chris didn't put up the picture because I guess I sent it in too late. It's actually on our dollar bill as well, hidden in the top right corner. So I don't know. I think it's a new world order. I think it's planning shit to take over the world. Are they? We don't see them. Oh, yeah, there's the owl. He's pointing to it. He's pointing to the owl. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Nice. I don't see it on this screen. So nice. who knows? I don't know what's going on there. I think it's definitely some weird shit. And they trans, you know, they talk about Tiffany laughed at your, your joke, stuff, buddy. To who anyhow, and Tom. What's everybody's take yeah. on the Bohemian Grove? I, I you know, what Tiffany what, what occurs Jack. there? Tiffany what happens? Jack got it. I, I heard Jen. you say, I heard yeah. you say men only. 
and they run yeah. around naked. I yeah. immediately shut down. So oh. I, you know, I, I don't. Yeah, I guess that's why they would probably what? protest it. Number one, and then making decisions. Yeah. It kind of sounds, sounds like, like sounds the like, army. Sounds like a party. Guy is sounds like a barracks party, right? <laughs> I was going to say. It, it probably sounds like the former army. military people running around. Yeah, it's, it's not gay if we're all in a... So what do you think about, that like, one. you know, obviously the elites going there and then making, like, political decisions that affect us. That's why there's these demonstrations that occur there um, saying, hey, they need to stop meeting behind closed oh, doors. Because yeah. that's technically, it's illegal, right? They can't just be hanging out like that. Why can't they? I don't, I think why there's a, there's a, there's a like law that? for that. I don't, I don't in think... In Germany, that. maybe. No, I don't like if, if Biden just wanted to go to a party and hang out with soon people, here. I don't think I think that would have to be reported, right? No, no, okay. Well, I could be incorrect, but um, it's probably yeah, the way the world has gone since, yeah, they started yeah. doing this in Rome, you know. I mean, it, it, yeah, all the rich people make the decisions and then they act like they hate each other for us in the audience. Oh, we right. hate each other, and then behind closed doors, they're like, hey man, you work this angle, I'll work that yeah. angle, and the, mob, the mob is fickle, hate me. brother, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're all, but I mean, Trump was a, a Democrat first. Now he's a Republican and they hate him more than anything. It's like, okay, what, what's going on? Yet they were really close. So, you know, it's probably good and evil for yeah, sure. Good and evil. Yeah. For sure. What's up with the owl and shit? Like, owl like, also crazy. represents Lilith. It does. It does. Lilith is a demoness that a lot of apparently New World Order people follow Lilith as well. So like, I don't the know. Fuck are they, are they, you know, she must have went to Austin Peay. <laughs> Like, what are they doing? I didn't. If if that's legit, like, why are they doing this You know what? If you want to, I can put in a good word for you, though. Thank you. I appreciate that. (laughs) I need a good word. If you want to come to UTEP, that's the Yale Southwest. You can come there. And then the owl is on our dollar bill, you know? So, I don't know. Yeah, Crystal has it. It's up there pointing to it. Yeah, little little weird. Well, I I think the New World Order is on to us. This is some of the most audience we've had. Like in a long time, so I think the door is going to get kicked yeah, in, and we're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're Whose doors first? We can. Yeah. Everybody else gets to watch it happen, but Dude, somebody's I'll first. Just our ass show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, isn't this the part where we have to like put black like things over our face, and we're yeah. like, yeah. remember, just yeah. close your eyes and open your mouth. Yeah. We're going to get well, censored on YouTube know. talking about yeah. that. Where it's they like somebody have. in an owl suit's gonna kick in your door and come flap yeah. it through your house and start Ooh. smacking yeah. people and shit. Like, <laughs> Who did it? Buddy. Who, did it? <laughs> Who said that? Buddy, what's oh, your take yeah. on this shit? Um, so I've seen a little bit about the the whole Bohemian Grove thing. Um, mm-hmm. and it's a real place, it's a real thing. And, and if you if you stop there, like they have security twenty four hours, like they they may have their meetings in July, but it's always a secure facility that nobody can enter or go in or look around or see or do anything. Um, so, I mean, of course it's shady. Um, like, but anytime that a bunch of the super elites that run the world get together, they're going to make decisions. Then if you, if you shut down one place, they're just going to go to, I don't know. Like, like, yeah. like, like an island, like an island. Like an island. <laughs> Seen- Good idea. Oh, I don't, come yeah. on, man. They could We're take a private like, plane. Yeah. Hey, yeah, you'll get oh, Hillary. Oh, I don't oh, want to be oh, Hillary over yeah, here now. Hillary, 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 real quick. <laughs> now you got two oh, people hey. coming after you. I yeah, should have looked worry. at the guest list because Epstein, I guarantee you, Epstein was there too. Probably hung out there. Oh, oh, I mean, Epstein he might wasn't have been an elite. Epstein supplied the entertainment. I was going to say, yeah, that's a whole he, was, other he was for the himself. after party, yeah, for yeah. sure. He may, yeah. there. he may have been there. That's who, was, that's who provided the sacrifice. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah, there was a sacrifice chamber. Yeah, well, we I got mean, we got a uh, we got. There's stuff. actually a map um, online that shows the entire place, and it's it's made out like a fucking map at Disney. So certain areas they call like one area the the hillbilly bar. You guys look this up on the internet. I didn't send oh, Chris that picture, but it's Themed. it's really fucking weird, man. That's a, a hillbilly. And then they call like one area of a lodge or or of a temple. A hor- it's just weird shit. Man. Horribly kept secret. If you know that there's a Disney map of like, well, a lot of a lot of this stuff. I feel like a lot of there. conspiracies are just right in front of us, man. We just don't, you know, we it's like we turn a blind eye. To it, it. Yeah, you turn a blind eye if it's right in front of you. You know, like the dollar bill is fucking the all-seeing eye, the fucking pyramid, and all that crazy shit. It's all you've Masonic, been watching too you know? many Nicolas Cage movies since what you've been doing. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, Hollywood, yeah. Hollywood, is, Hollywood is the only real news. So yeah, well, like, you know, if you fold a dollar bill the correct way, it'll show you where the Ark of the Covenant is. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, and then there's one way to fold it too, where it shows you the towers. That was a metal you had to put on a post. We, we That's too much. Yeah, time yeah, yeah. You, know? you gotta like, you gotta wait yeah. till the sun yeah. is in the I right. I got my position. Indiana Jones hat today, so we can see come the down. Oh, oh like, nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, okay, so buddy's take definitely some weird shit. Who knows? You know. Yeah. 
Like it goes without saying that that you know billionaires link up and, really? and decide is how they're like gonna skull get. and bones, like, like New World Order, Illuminati, Illuminati type shit. I don't shit. think it is. I don't think it's probably like as uh, as high speed as like the skull and bones, where you have to go through. Like I feel like once your bank account reaches a certain number, they uh, they holler at you and they're like, "Yo, once you come to this party, we're gonna have." And then once they get you to do some weird shit, they go, mm. and they got you. Now you're part of the group. Yeah, that's, what that's when your car drives apparently. itself off a cliff. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, they either you like you or your car drives itself somewhere oh, it shouldn't yeah. go. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're right. That should happen. That should happen to Pat. Yeah, like, the dude, the dude the, like, yep. how does he crash his car? Come on, you know. Yeah, Pat. So the fact that he was even driving his car. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Pat was driving. because the general doesn't have a driver. Yeah. Yeah, especially shit. that general doesn't have a right. driver. What's your take? Well, yeah, I mean, I think I've kind of said this on the show before, but in the chat on BTT, we got uh, Valkyrie saying Beyonce summons Lilith, and then uh, then you yeah, got Beyonce Satan. what? Uh, Beyonce summons Lilith. So I've okay. heard that. So then you also got uh, Kurt. I know Kurt. Uh, he said the golf Russell? courses where the real world decisions happen. That's kind of true. That is true. We right? were just talking but, about that on the way. That, area, that's right? more of like the city level, right? That's where all the deals are made. But when you're talking about global elites, and this is what we talked about when I was doing some books of Earl, where it's like, hey, calm down about some things because you're not, even like Trump isn't invited to these parties, right? Like he doesn't even make enough money to sit at this table, right? And he makes $900 million a year, right? And he can't even sit at that table, right? There are people like the Saudis and People like other, uh, just other people with money, the Sachs, you know, the Goldman Sachs and all them guys like that, that all, whole revenue stream is like, it doesn't even count. It's not real. And that's why when you hear about like a $30 trillion budget def- deficit, no, nobody cares. Right. Right. Like it's, these guys are going to control the world. Now, what I, I don't even consider this a conspiracy. I think this actually happens. I guess we should. Yeah. You're I, right. I, I think, I think yeah. that hundred percent, the global players come together and, and make sure the global market that we created through lots of bloodshed for 40 years of war in third world countries, right? We, we created this whole world and now what we did as the military because we were just a weapon, right? And we, we do all that. And now if you want to really be concerned about it, then go become one of them, mm. right? Like mm. that or just, you know, work hard, buy a house, put a pool in there maybe? I guess the biggest cons- like. like- <laughs> It would It'll be definitely cool. be invited. conspiracy be more of a question like why are they like devil worshippers and shit? Because our leaders and and you know like that's like what the fuck? Because you know? because and that's why you know if you want to get you know scriptural, um, then you have like Jesus saying render to Caesar's what is Caesar's, because he's like hey stay out of that shit. Mm-hmm. That's all he was saying. He's like hey, don't, don't, that if you want to be a part of that, then forget me. Like, well, I mean, <laughs> even if you look at because you're gonna have to cross the fucking lines to get to that level, like you're, yeah. you're right, bad yep. shit. yes, like, bad shit. <laughs> yeah. Even even if you look at history, Dave, like uh, World War One, World War Two, like all of the key players in Europe were fucking related. Like it was, they were all cousins. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I mean? Really. Like the the the, the I mean, shit's still going England, on in England, right? The, yeah, right. The, you know, <laughs> yeah. the, the, but yeah, you couldn't even be in the church in England if you weren't, you know. A nobleman, yeah. like, oh, okay, yeah. like that's somewhere in scripture. Like, yeah. that's why they off to Princess <laughs> Diane, but that's a whole other thing, you know. Um, well, they offed her because she shouldn't have been there, the first yeah. Well, they didn't want her there, and then right. she um started she, she da- dating a, that she was not a royal blood day, okay. Yeah, yeah, so she, yeah. So she I, think, uh, I think the term new world order is probably outdated because it's yeah. just the, the world order, it's always been this way, <laughs> it's not new, yeah. Yeah. And we just figured out about it. So, oh, we're we're welcome to the party. We now we have phones every day. We can see what's going on, and you can't you can't get shit past people, right? So, what better way to control take control is if you just control it all. Well, you control the media. And Reagan talked about it in a speech. Bush has done it. If we had a new world order, and then they talk about like if we had an invasion from a fake alien threat. There's this big Reagan speech that he does. You know, that would be a way to like take over. That's a whole other conspiracy in itself. But they're gonna you know create this fake alien invasion in order to bring in the new Very world order and just take over everything. And then one world government, one world currency. I heard there's trying to push some currency coming up next year. Like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't know sure yeah. More, but yeah. Crazy well, I mean, shit. Well, no, digital currency is actually a nightmare to the new world order. They, oh, yeah. they don't want it. Well, it's, like, a people's, it's a people's <laughs> money, right? Yeah. yeah. You, well, can't, they call you can't it corrupt people's... it. It's literally an algorithm. Yeah. So it's like, okay. 
people's well, currency. They'll corrupt it. Yeah, we don't, they're, they're trying to. Yeah. They're, they're trying to. Like they're just they'll, just end, up, they'll just end up buying all of it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> True. But, all right, hey buddy, what do you got going on? Yeah, it's it's it, it, it. We have been waiting months for this. I have been waiting a week for this <laughs> for this moment. I'm already clapping, buddy. Now, Dave. I'm going to need you to just calm down because I know you're in Arizona. I know you got like dust storms and things. It crazy, crazy dust storms. What? No, no. Wild. 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 What we're about to talk about New World also, order type like, dust in, 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 in this day and age where the New World Order is taking over, there are a lot, <laughs> Illuminati, of, things, Illuminati. There are a lot yeah. of things that, that, that we can worry about. There are some things that we should worry about. And what I want to know, when I was driving last week, I was driving through Nashville, and it started fucking raining. Like a huge rainstorm came. Was Whatever. It wild? It's just it's actually pretty it's just rain. It just wasn't rain. It wasn't wild. wild. No. It wasn't wild. And it, it really wasn't, wasn't that good. It was just rain, right? And then I look, and I don't know when it became a thing and when they put it in the driver's manual, but when did we start hitting our fucking four-way flashers when it started raining really, really bad? When did that become a thing? When did it because where, where is it going in your mind that you think you need to hit your four way flashers to let everybody else know that it's fucking raining? We can all see that it's fucking raining. Now you've got your hazard lights on. Let finish. And you're switching lanes and nobody knows. You actually got to take a hazard. hazard at this point. You should have a triangle with fucking stupid lights around you just saying hey dickhead it's raining why is it raining now there's six inches of water on the ground i'm gonna fucking up the ante by throwing my hazard lights on and just swerving everywhere so you don't know what the hell is going on i'm just creating chaos everywhere there's fucking hazard lights off you're also blinding people especially at night that's really what we need more fucking light flashing because that's it's all, my windshield's already fucked because I got wa- fucking water all over it. Now I've got reflecting lights shooting all over the fucking place. If I was epileptic, I would fucking run into a goddamn bridge embankment because you decided to let everybody know that it's happening outside. You're the only one that has fucking senses that can see. Preach, can buddy, preach. Rain. <laughs> Turn your hazard lights off. Just drive. You have lights. Turn those on. Then the red ones come on the back, the, the white ones come in the front, and then when you hit your brake, they get brighter. And that's how it fucking works. You to fucking turn your hazard lights off. Okay. What about initially, okay. buddy? Do you turn them on initially? No, not even initially. Like on the highway, like if you're like driving really fast. What about if you come up on an accident? Well, that's because there's a hazard. That's a hazard. That's a hazard. You did. Okay, that's a hazard. So is wouldn't the rain be a hazard too? Like no, it's not no? a hazard. Initially, no. I'm just saying, play devil's advocate here. Not to mention, everybody knows it's raining at the exact same time. But it seems like it's raining, it's raining, it's raining, it's raining. It's raining. See, look at your seeing this. What you see on your screen? That's what I feel when they're doing That's it. That's what I like, want. Just put on like yeah. pull people and pull, that pull out. them out of their car and fucking stab them in their throat. <laughs> That's inciting violence. Yeah, All right. It. Now you just incited I, violence. I, Good I, job, buddy. I feel like if, back to the new world order, I think that there are too many people on the planet. And if you, well, yeah, turn, your hazard lights on, if you turn your hazard lights on when it's raining, you have opted out of being on the planet. <laughs> just got to get rid of warning labels. I think we'd figure that. We'd get, get rid of a lot of people. Just get rid yeah. of warning labels, man. Just yeah. take, warning, take warning them away, labels. man. No more warning, warning labels. Air. Do not eat this. No shit. You know, you know? You know how your windshield wipers <laughs> Kitty come pools. On? Don't don't dive. <laughs> you know, like, you know how on, your man. windshield wipers come on automatically because it senses rain. Yeah. I feel like they should put a new thing. If it like if it if your windshield wipers sense rain and you touch your hazard light, your car should shut down and go off the road. It should like out of the driver's <laughs> seat into the air and they like victory should come and like snatch you up and eat you. Rob in the chat says, I don't think I've ever heard Buddy get this animated. Yeah, I that's true. Well, he, got, he got this animated I've about the lifted animated trucks. Before. The lifted trucks oh, and the, uh, like the pets, right? The homeless yeah. pets. Yeah. He got pretty animated with Tom, that. Tom, you don't have a lifted truck, do you? <laughs> oh, okay. I, don't, I don't think so. We were in Nashville. We were in Nashville last week when it was raining, and, and we did not turn on our hazards. So it was not yeah, us. It's good. 
All right. Do not. Oh, Kurt, Kurt, Kurt's back in the chat. Yeah. I go to Florida often. It sometimes just pours like crazy. So hard you have zero visibility. I will pull over and turn on the hazards. You're not supposed to turn on your hazards. You're supposed to <laughs> this pull over and turn the lights off. This is kind Fine. of crazy. So buddy, buddy, <laughs> you have, like you're not supposed to have the lights no, on because no, people no. will actually First drive all, to them. And before Fine. Buddy goes off on Kurt, Kurt, thanks again for tuning in. You were here last week too. So we appreciate your continued support. But now I'm going to just let Buddy rip into you. So uh, <laughs> just take it, Kurt. Thanks, Kurt. Here's Buddy. Re 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 Rebecca Griggs is blaming old people. Hold on. Hold on. First of all, if you turn your turn signal on and pull over to the side of the road, and now you're on the side of the road, guess what you are? You're a hazard. So <laughs> turn on your hazard lights because you're gonna fucking be in No, again, they put the signs for you when you drive on when you drive on the ten where all the dust storms are, right? They say, Lily, if there's a dust storm, pull off to the side of the road and turn your lights off. Right, because you're off the road. If you're on the road with your lights on, then everybody you'll see them because you're on the road. Right, like, and you think uh, the road is going there? That yeah. sounds like a good joke you can play on people, man. I like yeah, that. Exactly. <laughs> and we're gonna make a shirt. Yeah. And we're gonna name it the Buddy. Yeah, the Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Kurt says I can take. It. Yeah, I know, Kurt. Okay. Kurt, uh, we know you can, we, man. Thanks again for tuning get, in. We, we're gonna get one of those. Uh, we're gonna get one of those new kind of shirts that, like, they have the battery in them, so that like they bling and just like. When you get wet, it comes big sweat fucking blue. Four ways all over the probably place. Probably sell that to Disney, which is yeah. definitely the new yeah, like Christmas. Oh, yeah. Did, there's you know what? Christmas. You know what's worse than the people who turn their hazard lights on? Are the people uh, around them that follow suit and start doing it because they think oh, yeah. it's right. And now you have this yeah. huge airport looking fucking flashing thing and all the yeah. rain. And you well, don't know where to turn. Telling, well, it's, no, the no, it's, the, it's, the, it's the group think uh, phenomenon, yeah. right? Everyone, so, yeah. Everyone's telling each other that it's raining. It's like, hey, it's raining, guys. Did you notice know that it's raining? It's raining. Hit your lights. It's raining. Yeah. It's raining. Hit your lights on. And one, so, one worse than that, one worse than that for me are people who don't do the original instant message before they change lanes and use their blinker, and then they cut you uh, off, you know? Or the guys that turn their hazards on and then use their blinker like it works when they're all four <laughs> blinking anyway. Yeah, yeah. I had my blinker on. I go, you had all four blinking, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. Yeah, and then like, have you guys ever watched the show Brain Games? You know, they, yeah, they, they yeah. were they were they were showing this you know phenomenon in a in on a, in a medical office, so, like waiting for a doctor. So like seven people in a room, and one guy just kept doing this. <laughs> you just showing down, your... right? Just standing up oh. and sitting down. That's what you were looking at, buddy, and it's it's acceptable because most people do. But anyway, hey. so like you know, all of a sudden everybody started standing up for them <laughs> in the office, like God. everybody. It's like, wow, what are you doing? Dude? So wow, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah the, the, the hazard bus, like Tom said, is like once somebody does it, we're all fucked. You know, well, it's that's, like you that's know. anywhere. Like it, that's how it is like in the uh in the army, that's how you get anywhere you want to go. Just put on the face that you know you're supposed if you have confidence, you can walk into any facility in the military. And when they stop you and they're like, Hey, oh, we, do you know who the fuck I am? <laughs> like, I, mean, I was uh after 9 11 happened i was out pulling uh pulling gate guard because we had to pull gate guard right after that on brad that was the first time you pulled and, uh, yeah and, wasn't uh, an it was because it was an open post before that it was great you could drink and drive, drive back on post anyway but the uh but anyway, I'm, I'm sitting out there I'm bring you back for ucmj as buddy. A, of the pfc <laughs> The little PFC out there on uh, Long Street, and this dude in just a beard and ranger panties is like running down Long Street, and like he's like running by, and I'm like, hey, I need to, I need to get your ID. He's like, you know who the fuck I am, and then like fucking starts running off. I was like, I'm guessing tag. I don't know. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over here to do something else. Like I don't, I'm not fucking with him. Like I don't. He's, it he's, works. He's running from the like. The long end of Long Street, yeah, all the way down. Yeah. I'm like, I, this, I'm not fucking with this dude. Yeah. You're about to have a bad day. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. that, that shit worked. We were at the Star Major Academy, and some guy was freaking out about the sand table, and I had to give a briefing on the sand table about the convoy and where we're gonna get attacked. And I'm like, I had no idea what was going on. I go, who gives a shit? No one's listening anyway. All these Star Major wannabes are standing around waiting to be graded. He's like, I gotta go out next. I go, just, oh, I'll do it. I grabbed his stick and I walked out there and I just started talking. I don't even know what I said. I made up shit, you know? Yeah, we're going to get hit. We're going to move around here and everybody follow yeah. here. Like, Did you hear that damn briefing? That was the best briefing of the day. And I'm like, I don't even know what I said. I, and it wasn't <laughs> real. And that guy went out there and made shit up and, and passed. And I was like, dude, nobody listens to you. 
Everybody, if you say it with authority, people think you know what you're doing and they'll follow you. And bu buzzwords like orientate. Orientate. Yep. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All right, this is your north seeking arrow. Yeah. Let yeah. me orientate you. That's how we will yeah. maneuver. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. like, yeah, just buzzwords. Easy. You know, and like, you know, most likely course of action. Yeah. And you can say oh, whatever yeah. you want after that. You've already hit the buzzword. You know, and like, yeah. it's just, it yeah. just works. But um, the only time it doesn't facts. work yeah. is yeah. when it uh, <laughs> still works is when you have like a PowerPoint briefing that you're doing, you're going through it. Because the only thing that they're going to do is at the end, they're going to go, oh, can we go back to uh, slide four, please? <laughs> and notice, uh, if you notice on uh, the line, the fifth line, fifth line, Bill, the fifth line, yeah, is, oh, is that Calibri? Are you using Calibri uh, along with New Times Roman? It should, it should be Tahoma. Uh, should be Tahoma. <laughs> I think, uh, hey, um, Jam, 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 please correct me if I'm wrong. Wait, what if we, can we put out a memo? We put out a memo. We're using a different font size uh, now, so if you can make sure that your slide is correct, that would be great. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you fucked up the slide, you can not survive in combat, right? I did this PowerPoint at fucking four in the morning after I was up for 48 hours trying to figure out how to do this bullshit that you want me to do, and now you're bitching because I fucking didn't put an apostrophe, and it's fucking 14 instead of 11.5 fucking font. It's called yeah. leadership, man. Yeah, not everybody has it. Yeah, true oh, leadership funny. picks out font style. Let's right. just take this as a professional development. You know, you want your if if your slideology is wrong, it's just going to take away from the information. Yes, <laughs> yes. Listen to the information. You He's on one pop. today. He's on Bro. one today. You should have flown out here too, buddy. Yeah, you should have flown out here. <laughs> 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 <Thank you. laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I love it, break. you know, and it's like, you know, you got, you know, we always talk about how there's one unit in the DOD, and that's Delta, there's only one regiment, that's Ranger Regiment, there's only one division, that's the second Airborne Division, like any other unit, it's worthless, right? So like, that's like, that simple. So when you go to these other units, and they start talking, like you go to Sergeant Major's Academy, you go to the other, you're like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Like, I literally, like, we can get through this plan, like, in six minutes, and it's going to take four days the way you're doing it. You know, it's just, it's out of control. And, like, you know, when you get, people understand warning order one, two, three, yada, yada, yada. Now you're going to your car. And now you're in the car, and you got all these S-shops briefing. It's like, wait a minute, we're past that. Any changes? Shut the fuck up. You know, and it's like, like, what do you, what, what, what else do you want to talk about? But, uh, yeah, we're getting, I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to get too army in this right now, but, um. No, we have a we have great guests lined up. They're friends of uh, Muffin Fingers, uh, Chris. Uh, to, shout out to the fake Asian. Shout out to the fake Asian in the background who puts all this stuff together. Chris. So, go Chris. Uh, go Chris. Also God. Though. Also God. So when he talks, we call him God. Uh, when he's when he's on point, when he's doing his job how he's supposed to, we call him the Baker because it baker. sounds cool. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, you got to go see the Baker. Yeah. All right. Ooh. When he screws up, he's called Muffin Fingers. So, so. <laughs> We love, we love you, Chris. We love you, Chris. We love you, Chris. And hi to Chris's mom. Yeah, hi, Chris's mom. Yeah, yeah she's, she's a nice cool lady. Um, I had a great time in San Diego. Yes. So, but, yes. Uh, all right. Hey, we got Tom and Jen Satterley here, and they are the CEO. And correct me, uh, Jen, on your role in uh, the All Star. Oh, you said her role. <laughs> <laughs> You're the founder, right? CEO that was a sexual founder. blunder yeah. right there. Yeah. Where the guy's in charge and shit. Right. Well, this is not the Bohemian Grove, this okay? So. <laughs> So we're I all was, into trouble now i was i was reading a little bit of the bios and uh you know i was a strong ranger so i, I didn't read too much of it but um so it wasn't <laughs> your font size was wrong the, font size was wrong. the way the way they see funny wait till i show you these these yeah. bios they sent me i couldn't even oh, understand it that shit right like I, I think it was like in times i think it was like 10 font and times roman oh no. probably yeah. hey, I, inst yeah. I instantly threw up i saw it and i just <laughs> I had a seizure Bam. but yeah so it. so jen you were actually like a, a real combat camera person right like you were but not overseas the, not overseas okay all right not well, overseas guys... so kind of like not bahamas. combat bahamas yeah, okay bahamas. people weren't shooting at me while i had a camera in my hand except for with Ooh. Well, actually, that's how he yeah, flirted with me the first time. Right in the ass one day. By him. Yeah. But it, I didn't so bleed he flirt from with it. UTM. Just a little bit of bleeding. Yeah. yeah. So then, and then State you side arm teased. You got, you got Tom, who was in the unit. And then what I did, what I did. Are we allowed to say that? Yeah. Oh. He, he has it on his LinkedIn page. He's okay. not hiding it. He's like a, he's pretty yeah. much like the, he's like a Navy SEAL of. Of, of the. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the hair. Yeah. Yeah. You should see my six pack. 
<laughs> it's a keg now. It's a keg. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a one pack. So as we, you know, we started Veteran Trash Talk uh, as a group of friends because we just wanted to get on on a Zoom call and just shoot the shit with each other and you know help with our own mental health. And it turned out to be awesome, obviously. And people are all watching it now and be a part of the community. And they know then they message us. We like to be the ones to point them in the right direction. Because we're not the doctors, we're not the organizations that help. We're just the community that you can come on and say whatever the hell you feel like saying, and you're either going to get praised, made fun of, both. Like all kinds of awesome stuff happens on this community in this community, yep. and we like to bring on organizations like the ones you guys started, uh, so that we can you know hear what you guys got. The community can hear what you guys offer. Uh, and if people want to donate again, guys, everybody has this stigma that nonprofits aren't supposed to make money. Well, how the hell are they supposed to do what they want to do if they don't make money? Right. We've already covered yeah. that a thousand times. But welcome to the sh welcome to the dumpster fire, Tom and Jen, as you've already been introduced to. It's a uh, it's just a great time. So tell us, like I said in the script, uh, tell us why you wished you were in the 82nd. And then, Jen, you can <laughs> you can say like you wish you would have met a real paratrooper. <laughs> um, you know, and like, I mean, obviously that was the real issue, but other than that, tell us about what, how you guys got where you got, uh, and then where you guys are going from here and what's the all secure foundation about. Boom. Welcome to the show. Wow. That's lots of things. I where do we start? That, yeah. He won't. You, you got to blow up a bunch. So do whatever How did we get to where we got? Um, we met after the military. So, you know, I did the typical military career where you join and you, you know, you're going to get out in four years and go to college and you don't. And then you blink and then you're like, oh, God, I need to retire now. And got out and I'm and completely and utterly screwed up individual. Right. Um, but I didn't know it. Right. I didn't know it. I wouldn't admit it. And I just you're in the soup. Yeah, I thought everything we did was normal. Right. Just get drunk every night and do Sandwich. stupid shit every night, get in trouble every night. And then, you know, you, you start losing friends along the way and you start thinking to yourself, man, I should just be dead myself. So I'm, I'm paraphrasing, shortening a lot of this because we've all uh, most of us have gone through this. I hear all these stories from so many different people from different services around the world. The stories Truly. are the same. The stories are the same. You know, you end up getting to the point where you feel like a piece of shit. You're not good enough anymore. You start putting yourself down more and more and more every day and the, things pile on just because this life's here, right? So life piles on top of your already shitty feelings, your loss of tribe. You're not a god anymore, right? No one gives a shit what you did when you get out. Really, no one gives a shit when you're in it unless they want your job anyway. So you realize that what you did was just not what you did, but you were just part of another thing, another number, another paycheck. It's temporary. You, out, you don't have the yeah. ability to do that anymore, you know, yeah. right? Just another number. Somebody's in your seat already. You're not even out the door yet. The special feeling's gone. You get out and, and, and nobody knows what you do. And if you tell them, they hate you even more. So you start going down that path, right? Drinking makes it feel good. Taking all the Percocet that they threw at you. And you open up your foot lock and there's 20 extra bottles of Percocet. You're like, why not, man? I'm in pain. So you start taking those. And then, then life just turns to shit, you know? And that's when we met. I was at the lowest point of my life. Awesome. I was 60 pounds Jen. heavier. Wait, 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 Jen. Where, where, where to go, Jen? Where right? She walks in and I'm like, yeah. um, where, where did you guys right meet now? at the bottom? <laughs> where was this at? <laughs> well, you know. Yeah, I no, was, she, uh, she was, was introduced. I, I thought he was a seal. I yeah. Was, I did. <laughs> or I didn't know the difference, actually. Yeah. I was she knew dealer. I wasn't a seal when she yeah. saw me. <laughs> I was his dealer. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> no, keep going. Oh my it. God. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Woo! I was. Uh, I was. Uh, uh, he was awesome. I was awesome in good space. Time, yeah, I was in my mind, and um, she walked in. Everybody's like, "You got to meet this guy." It was I don't know. You tell the story because it's well. Yeah, I was walked down a hall. So I was hired to work with special operations, and at that time, I was a film and photography, like in the commercial world. So I was doing TV commercials, print ads. For, for the 15 years of my career, um, was hired to come on a special ops shoot. And I said no, like the first three times. Cause I'm like, listen, I don't know anything about military. I don't know anything about special operations. Like I have no business being amongst these guys. And they're like, you've shot all of the sports marketing stuff. You can shoot high speed. So we want you as a camera person. And I went on the first mission and I loved it. Like absolutely dove right in but they're walking me down the hall and they're like 
so it's a former unit guy and he's like have you seen black hawk down and i'm like okay so the backstory of that <laughs> he, he, not the actors or anybody else but this fat yeah. dude that was there <laughs> <laughs> he does not look like any of the actors portrayed but um come on this way and um i made the mistake of saying i haven't seen it which was a big mistake because i said you know honestly the place i worked at was very male driven and they had this giant screen where we would play our fancy tv commercials on and when the movie came out in 2001 all the guys in my office played it all the time like literally black hawk down was on all day to the point where i'm like you guys i'm like i have a conference call Those right kind of now guys that are like i wish i was there man i'd have done that a lot differently you know what i mean <laughs> that dude's ass and shit. <laughs> Yeah, one of <laughs> that buddy. that kind of group. So, yeah, oh, I forgot my dog's barking. Fucking shut this fucking dog up! Yeah. <laughs> I was like, did we literally just tell that whole story muted? That no, would be really good. fucked you up. <laughs> you guys are good, buddy. Just trying to interrupt. That would be a really good joke. We let you do that the whole time, like. Yeah. yeah, I was like, wow, I feel <laughs> this is awesome. This is going no, great. No, you're good. You guys. Thanks are for good. having us. Yeah. You guys are good. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so, so that's why I met him. Now. They walked us. I said, what is he, like a SEAL? Because they're like, yeah, I, you know, he's one of the Delta Force. And I was like, oh, that's like a SEAL. And he literally stopped and turned around. He goes, what did you just say? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. Was that bad? And I said, like a Navy SEAL? And he's like, you've got to do some homework before you come back with us again. I'm like, Damn. fair enough. All right. <laughs> and so they walk me in the room and I'm expecting to see like Eric Banda, frankly, you know, I'm like, let's go. And then I mean, he was a good you were like, you said his 66 pack turned into a keg and you just, you were not in a good space. So I mean, a face bloat, maybe, maybe that was it. You know, <laughs> Alcohol, we, do that to your <laughs> face, but, uh, yeah, we didn't really yeah. hang out. It was a low point, and uh, we Much. just worked together, really. And I, I wanted to kill her because she had this work ethic at <laughs> four in the morning. We're doing, we're still. So you're already ready for marriage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, we, we talked about how we started at divorce, and we did. We, we started really did. at divorce, and it got really good after that. But it was a, a shitty link up, you know? Yeah, it took us a while, but I think working together, I was going through a divorce. He was going through a divorce. Shocker. Yeah, his third divorce um uh -oh. you can't make yeah third you know third one so yeah right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. three duis and be, been well, back then, three times. Five, five yeah. DUIs. Yeah. you don't yeah. understand yeah. that the only common denominator in every one of them was you until you get out later you're like oh that was bitch that bitch. Oh, wait a minute i'm the only person that was always there <laughs> yeah <laughs> huh yeah, i started we, thinking uh, about that one yeah we love that with the accountability with veterans because that's one of the things you know we talk about them it could be a good leading question for your organization but you know we say like you keep blaming everyone else for what your issues are now yeah some bad things could have happened to you but you're the common denominator here it's, it's like, always victim mentality like, yes, that, big, that, yes. Victim mentality yes. that we got going on and then yeah. when it, you get guys like you know tom who have done this what and we appreciate you sharing that how you how you hit rock bottom because again that and we obviously just, she came at the right time right yeah, yeah, cheaper and, price uh, and low self-esteem. Yeah. But we we always say on our show on on Saturdays that if we could help one person, right, just one, because we'll have a couple thousand people watch it today, and then a couple thousand more after that. But if we just help one person, right? Then we've done, and we've already helped ourselves because we've already laughed, we've already had a great time, we're already in a good mood, so we've already done that. T uh, tell us what your organization provides and how do they get to it and like. Who's it offered to? So um, we offer it to all special operation units. Um, so we really. S I'm that? sorry. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> what do you offered? He's what just a green beret. He's not as get, cool as it. Let me get for you though. He was a green beret for a minute. I was a green beret for a minute. And fifth, but then he got better. Yeah. You know. Staying out of all this. I kept studying. I moved out. But Not an awesome piece. Actually, I was threatened uh, if, I, if I didn't make selection by Sergeant Major Sims. He goes, he said, you ain't going to make it. When you come back, you're going to work in group engineers your whole career. And I was like, oh, fuck. Uh, I got to make it. That's where I left. That's when I retired. Uh, I was at the group engineer office. 
I went oh. back and he had me painting up parking signs and shit for like two or three more weeks. I told you you wouldn't make it. I told you. Yeah, I told you you're going to be painting signs. I go, well, Sergeant Major, you're fucking wrong on one of those counts. I'll see you later. And I threw the paintbrush down. I went I, and I, I ETS and I went back to Fort Bragg. It was, I was, at, yeah. I was probably in Kentucky two, three months. Yeah. Went back to Fort Bragg <laughs> the rest of my life. But it's a good time. Yeah. So Everybody was deployed at the first Gulf War, so nobody was there. I was like the second battalion Sergeant Major as an E5. So I was like, all right, I'm not <laughs> myself. <laughs> Let me get this There's no trouble quick. there. Let me just get after knife hand, in, you're like knife hand in the mirror. Yeah. Like, Look here, fuck stiff. Like, yeah, come here, shit. Well, I'm going to clean this car lot up, but it's going to be you. It. Let's go, you I'm fucking turds. Sticking around. <laughs> no, but all right, let's get back to the all, all, yeah, all yeah. secure all right. foundation. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So basically, we started as a resource library back in 2017. Um, like Tom said, he was a train wreck, and I didn't know what to do. Like, I didn't know how to help him. And at that time, for like three and a half, almost four years, I was working with um, primarily SEALs, but also Green Berets, Rangers, um, PJs, Mar and Mar so Marsoc. So it didn't matter. Like, I just started noticing a commonality, whatever group I was with, sometimes for a week, sometimes three, four weeks. So I just got to know the guys really well. Um, and I just kept hearing the same thing over and over again. So I started asking like, hey, you know, if what's missing? You keep talking about, I don't know how to come home. I don't, you know, I don't feel great here. I don't know what to do. So what, what can somebody do to help you? And nine times out of 10, people started saying like, listen, I need help at home. I don't know how to be a good husband. I don't know how to be a good father. You know, I'm, I'm having all these issues with anger and rage, and I don't know where they're coming from. I don't know how to control it. I feel like a total piece of shit. I should be able to handle this. I'm this combat warrior. I'm highly trained. So why can't I, why am I fucking up so bad at home? Like, why am I destroying everything when I could do this job over here really, really well? And so I told Tom one day, I said, listen, I don't want to do combat camera anymore. I'm done. Um, I want to start a nonprofit. I want to... Yeah. We would train people. We, we were the last stop before they would go to war. So, <laughs> so we would we literally there. throw everything at them. <laughs> Suicide shit. And then they'd go off to war. And then the next time they'd come back, there'd be people missing that she met. And she's mm -hmm. like, where's Bob? Well, he didn't make it. Where's Jim? He didn't make it. And then, oh, by the way, they'd get killed during training, too. She's like, hey, we got to we gotta cease training. Everybody's going home. Why? Oh, they rolled a vehicle. Two SEALs are dead. She's like, what the hell? And one day she's like, I can't do this anymore. I can't send people to war. I want to help them after war because that's obviously where they need it the most. She started digging into the numbers of how many people. She goes, you know, you, you, there's not even that many people killed during war. I mean, there are. But yeah, the numbers are insane over the years. compared to like, like fatalities overseas. 5,000 over 20 years versus, you know, 60,000. They're killing herself. She goes, this is the problem. This is the problem back here. And yeah, so she I mean pulled out and got to work figuring out what to do because we had no idea I mean, a non-profit because we're gonna start a non-profit i go what what we're gonna what like what, what is that i mean how do you make money what do we do we gotta eat and so all this all the shit we didn't know and we didn't have money i was in it did she mention i was getting divorced again so you know what they do when you get divorced they take You're everything still paying you ever me. Ex, ex wife right <laughs> yeah ex, ex, ex. <laughs> yes and they, oh, they, so they get together and they take all your freaking money and then they come and see your retirement later. everything so that, yeah. that was you in the show the unit where the guy took his fifty thousand. Oh and yeah got divorced and was handing it out of the oh board. is that what it is that was you. okay yeah that's so it's nobody it. gets yeah. it we sell each yeah. other all our yeah. shit for a dollar so nobody else yes. can sell it. shut <laughs> don't anybody that's watching this don't talk about it yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's already like the illuminati's already blown yeah we're fine it, it doesn't happen at all yeah i mean all you gotta do is go get a big owl statue and you'll get everything back Everybody all right so it. so you guys created a non-profit then and, and then you're like what the fuck does this shit look like obviously you you yeah. took the lead in this you know so talk about that yeah i she, you know allowed to talk I, I'll allow it. <laughs> Such a good man. As a man, I'll let her say that stuff. Thank you. Yeah, oh my nice God, I'm so in trouble. This is a joke. This is a joke. I'll get We're like kidding everybody. thousand yeah. freaking. Yeah. E you I guys know, have no we, idea how we, crazy we, people. We have an idea. We do. We do. Oh, yeah. By the way, my my home mortgage, my home mortgage identifies as a college loan. If you're Thanks. listening. Yeah, my view. Well, you Most got of the Unbelievable. <laughs> I want that on this house too. Yeah. My right. Car. My my buying, home loan went to college. I'm buying a college car. It's yeah. for college, <laughs> so that I can go to college. Yeah. So it's the same. Same. All right. Shut up, buddy. Let them talk. 
We got we got, <laughs> we, we, we I got, got to promote their organization so that either either I a, love you, buddy. Either a they can get donations or b people can go get help from them. So like what, oh. what is what is the foundation and. Uh, We'll go, yeah. yeah, get back to the point of how they, you know, well, we so like, fucking, what we do we actually do? Uh, they're they're on track with everything that we just we're just too drunk already. Yeah, I can't. I so anyhow, single thing to do. We're we, can, we can help you with that. That's where we're at. We're we can help you with your drinking, guys. Come <laughs> on over. We we actually don't Come on anymore. over. <laughs> Set the oh. alcohol down and just say you need help. And Jen takes the lead and is like, yeah. okay, this is what we're doing. So what are we doing? We started as resources. So basically, hey, I need help in X, Y, or Z, whatever it is. What I would do at that time is try to find other organizations that were doing that work. So really, we kind of started as a leech trying to figure out all of this at the same time. Um, this right. was back in 16. And I think, I mean, things have changed so much and things have progressed so much. And there's so many other organizations that are doing amazing work. But I felt like at the time I met him in 13, he wasn't even diagnosed with PTS. The army gave him 10% disability and he was on like 15 different medications when I met him and he was a mess. So, you know, it started with this like health and nutrition, like, okay, a lot of guys were coming forward saying, how do I get off the pills? I don't want to be on 14 pills anymore. So we started like in this health and wellness place more of like, Hey, you need sleep. I know you guys sleep like four hours a night, but this is why that's not going to work for you long term and you got to eat better and you know xyz so we kind of start in that health and wellness area first and now what we do a hundred percent of the time is emotionally focused therapy which is proven to Holistic. work with pts yeah. and it's it's meant to be quick and what i love about it is and i especially love about it for military couples individuals it's like homework based so our therapist who's an amazing coach works with you and then she's like hey this week do these things so it's not like talk therapy where you're going to talk for an hour feel like shit when you're done and then she says our hours up it's not it's like that it, it's 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 task driven basically these are yes yes, yes. yes. 100 it's, it's, it's behavioral yeah. change and we work on muscle memory and, because and especially military guys developed. you know people who spend we've time all developed yeah, muscle yeah, yeah. memory of mm -hmm. anger rage dominance get on top and then we shake it off oh oh it's not a threat okay and meanwhile the kids and the spouse are like what the fuck was that like you're like what well, you just freaked out and, and talk really loud. And you're like, no, I didn't talk really loud. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's accountability for a lot of us. And yeah. I, we remove excuses. And this is for all the, all the guys out there, all the, all the veterans and the active duty guys out there gal, and gals out there. They're like, I'm fine. You know, or the excuses of, well, my dad drank, so I drink. Or I'm Irish, so I drink. Or, you know, I, I have this, so I do that. Or I've seen a therapist so many times I'm one myself. Or I don't want to see a therapist unless they've been to combat because they won't understand me. I'm like... I start joking. I go good because she doesn't want to talk to you unless you've been to college for eight years. So get out of here. Yeah, like what? Nice. Yeah. I go. Do I like you understand that? that? Did yeah. you go win the war your fucking self, or did you take enablers with you that did a job that you can't do? So recognize 100%. what you're saying. Stop talking like you, you know what you're saying and you don't. And just settle down and realize you don't need help. You just haven't been trained in what you 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 need to learn to deal with this shit. We were trained to go to war, shoot, moon, and communicate, and, and and take property, but we weren't trained on how to deal with the after effects of that, and that's where right. everybody's. No, Tom, Tom, you're spot on about that, and what we try to get across on this show all the time is people misuse the word hypocrite, you know, and mm. it's like so if I'm saying that hey you're screwing this up, even though I'm the same guy that screws the same thing up, I'm not being a hypocrite. I'm just letting you know, like hey, I've done this before. And yep. I, like you said, getting loud with your kids and your wife and like like your family, I, I still do that. And I, yeah, and I, take, I do. And I, I do. And I take a step back and I go, "What a dick," you know. And it's like I can't believe I did that. And that was the first time I ever did that to my oldest daughter. And I've shared this story before. The first time I ever snapped on her for no fucking reason, right? I was like, "Okay, now is the time to go get help." Yeah, we and got then, we got somebody in chat real quick saying, "I do that crap. I feel horrible when my little girl points it out." Yeah, you know. And so I That's now my oldest, cycle. my oldest daughter, she she has the authority, like you know, where I would never would talk back to my dad. I said, like, "Natalie, if I ever get stupid, you're allowed to tell me." Like, you yeah. can be like, "Dad, you're being yeah." Stupid. That's really right? cool, and, though. You know, and, it's and aware. Like, but I, I learned that from a, a shrink that wasn't a combat veteran and in fact like when you said that i go 
I go, when I, when I just retired in April and they said, Hey, what kind, which, what kind of shrink do you want? And I said, I want one that's not a veteran. I want one that's going to hear what I say and go, you're stupid, you know? And like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Because, you know, or a veteran might be like, yeah, I know what you feel, but I know what you're saying, man. You know and it's like? Yeah, know, yeah. I, a little support there. Yeah. Like, I want someone to be like, no. No, you're I'd have called him a dick too. You know, it's yeah. like, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> yeah. I have, I have conversations with guys that tell me stories like in court. I, you know, they said, well, you boat up at, at the guy and, and I'm the, you know, ha -ha. and I go, you know, it's funny. You're laughing about that, but you probably did bow up and it probably was scary. And it probably does warrant someone to talk to you about that. And he's like, you know what? No one's ever talked to me straightforward like that. You know, no one ever told me, Hey, the way you're acting is stupid. I go, oh, really? You haven't met the right people then because <laughs> I want to hear it all the time. Have you ever been in an AAR process where we oh, just yeah. tear everything down that we did right just because we want to be better and then we come home and we do it to our families too? Oh, that's another muscle memory thing that we do. Spouses or whoever's at home does some does a job for us and we come home and what do we do? JMPI it. Pick out what's wrong because that's what we've always done and we don't really mean it. I mean, I love just who that. We are. I love that. Always point out all the flaws instead of like looking well, at We were trained of, to do yeah, that. Yeah. We were trained yeah. to be like Exactly. Right, we 100%. Were strong, I I love that. That's spot I mean, they, on. They, that's 100%. Like, they wasn't a jump master. I'm sorry, I wasn't a no jump big master. deal. No big deal. Just I hurt my knee and then only, I there's only three jump masters on the screen yeah. right now. Yeah, so it's good. What? Dave never was a No, he even hurt his knee and that's how I got promoted. I hurt my knee cuz I was next platoon sergeant and then I you know, and then I took over the platoon. According to him, I had a weak exit, whatever. It was a very weak Four or five so. other paratroopers oh, got hurt on that jump, too. So. And then uh, there were four tore my MCL. They had weak exits, too? Yes, yes. Oh, my God. Did you <laughs> turn them to you, buddy. <laughs> buddy, you're, like, you're, you're like a G, man. <laughs> Did yeah. you train them, too? All right, so uh, how do how do people... You were a staff sergeant when I arrived in the 82nd, so, so and I ended up outranking you at some point. Then yeah, we all actually passed, buddy. You were the... Fucking buddy was a staff sergeant. We, got in. <laughs> we all passed it, but anyways, uh, it's sorry. all right, buddy. Shut up. Not true at all. all right. but, but hey, Jen, 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 Jen how, how how do you although get, how do how do you donate to the organization and where was where does that money go? It's a good question. So we have an admin donor, meaning we have someone who was a very successful business. Actually, they're a family located here in Missouri who said, listen, we love what you guys are doing. We think it's necessary. We want to be your business partners, which is amazing because like you said, nonprofits are businesses, they're organizations, and you it, need it to run it like a business. <laughs> um, so uh, this amazing company who wants to remain anonymous, I wish they didn't, but they pay for all of our admins. So they help us run the business side of it. So when somebody donates to All Secure Foundation, you could do it right on our website, allsecurefoundation.org. 100% of that donation is going right to feed our program. So it's going directly to a warfighter or directly to a warfighter family. So what, you know, people are like how much of your my money is going 100%. And the reason why is because we have somebody else backing us and covering all the admin stuff that nobody else wants to cover. We have been yelled at for credit card fees, which uh, we have no control over, by the way. And the company <laughs> that we picked asks you to make a donation I, instead well, of charging you. And we still get yelled at about that. I'm like, Remember we actually gave that person their money back. We gave their money back and refunded. And they got mad at us. And I said, listen, you called us a bunch of names and said you can't trust us. And if, I don't want you to give money to an organization you can't trust. We gave all the money back yep. for a credit card fees when actually 100% of the money goes to our programs to run them. And so our yeah. programs basically are 365. We have five different coaches. They're all licensed clinical social workers. And they're working with either a special operator or a family member. So... A spouse well, comes forward. Second, guys can't comes. I mean, Beck, Beck would can, Buddy can, but you're, we can't. We're like, well, I went to Ranger School. I go, can he? <laughs> no, you, you weren't an operator though. So, so, so here's us, the thing. That's not so here's cool, the thing we like. Cool army guys. No, here's how we get into I, trouble. Buddy, before you even say yes, I'm in <laughs> recruiting now. I'm a senior master trainer. You know, EA. Just Ooh, you know, get ready that, buddy, like, senior. I had to throw that out there, buddy, for you, because trainer. I know you were going to talk shit that I that I that I left the eighty second and went on recruiting in two thousand and eleven. So, so no, let's, let's, let's but, tell the truth. Let's tell the truth, Tom. So, Tom. So if we they, came and saw you guys and said, "Hey, we, you know, I love your program," we'd still help you. 
Okay. Yeah, no, we still uh, help you. We have literally we, never we, turned a, anyone away, including like law enforcement have reached out. We've helped them too. We just don't feel right about like, hey, I'm like brave enough, courageous enough to say, the like Tom said, help. I don't need help. I just need yeah. some retraining. Like what, what goods do you guys got? We're going to help you. I mean, we've helped everyone. Like I said, even during COVID, we had nurses reach out saying, I think I'm developing PTS from what I'm seeing through this COVID. What do we do? We helped they absolutely them. Did. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, so we, we won't turn anyone away. Yeah. So, so what is anyone who's. I got to make fun of you, Dave. The, Real gonna, quick. Tom, uh, let's give the guests some so time. We got to let Tom know the, the background. Okay. Is that the reason why Dave left uh, being a man and like being in the Ooh. infantry and being in a parish? Whoa, 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 still a good looking man. I'm was, not was, broke. Because, I don't have a battery in my ass because, like you yeah, do. Well, so whatever. I stayed in the man world long enough to get hurt. Okay. So like. You were you know, a train driver before yeah. you joined. So he, uh, he, got oh, he got shot and he got shot in the ear. I got big ears. Look at the size of those fucking things, right? So <laughs> you gotta he tuck actually, those things away, man. Well, no, well, no he actually. <laughs> That's got what shot. my squad leader said. He actually sure got shit shot in the ear. He so, jinxed yeah, me he in Bakuba, Iraq. Yeah, he got shot in the ear, and then he's like, "I can't do this anymore," and he's went to be a recruiter, which is fine. Yeah. Well, yeah, but now he's a, a now he's all nice, nice and he yeah, but now he's a senior expert, genius, maestro, master Buddy. trainer. Buddy, I always give you credit. Senior You're master trainer. I always say senior oh master trainer. <laughs> so, so what trainer. does this program look like? And like how many people can apply? Like if somebody obviously goes to your website right now and you know yep. they're at that point, they say, I want help. Yep. I need to do this. You yep. know, like talk us through that process. It's so easy. Yeah, it's here's so easy. You hit the contact button. And that contact, we, Tom and I monitor all of our emails. So every single one will come Yay. to us first because we want it to feel anonymous. We want it Authentic. to feel protected. Yeah. We want it to feel like you're not just sending a message into someone. That message is going to go to both of our inboxes immediately. From there, Tom and I will reach back out and say, what do you need? Some people aren't even reaching out because they want to have the coaching or therapy. They're like, I want the Stella shot. I want to do ayahuasca. I want to you know, I want to get off 15 different pills. How do I do that? So we resource, we partner with so many other nonprofits that were like, hey, we'll go get you the Stella shot for free. You, your wife will fly you there, get you on um, a plane, hotels covered, everything. We wow. don't do that, but we have a partner that does. So, so you, no matter you what you need. Much, real quick, you cover any state. All of it. If you call us and ask for yes, help, we'll get we it will for get you. it for you, no matter what that is. It's hey, Unless I need a hype. you call us and ask us to pay your car loan and shit, we don't do that. All right? Yeah, we, we, well, we get people my help. car loan identifies as, as a student loan. loan. Uh, if it's a college loan, loan, then yes. No, no, but no, my car loan identifies as a disabled veteran. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, then <laughs> I can coach special, or special ops. Special ops. Yes. Yes. The, it went through some serious car. special ops training. What, what so you, is is there is and I, I love what I'm hearing. Is I there need a to see waiting, it's DD214. Is, is there a waiting list? No, I mean, there's you know, not. You get instant help, so you obviously tie yep. them to whatever resource you have available, and you know the different Absolutely. states and stuff. So no waiting list. So like you guys get no somebody. waiting list. Wow. I mean, it when, might when be our, two weeks. No, it might be two yeah. weeks when we've at gone max. Over, when we've gone over, I heard somebody was waiting a week for an appointment. We went and hired another therapist. And the reason yep. I bring There's that up right, like right, right now, hiring. the reason I bring that up, like Nick is waiting, what, two months? No, I finally saw a behavioral specialist. Yeah, I retired what? in April and I saw one last week. You know, see, it's just, it was, that's and, not, and should have called us, man. And this, no, but this is not. Well, a, now you have our number. Now you know. Well, I started, I started my own therapy group, which is this. So I actually started getting therapy every Saturday. And then when you, and we've had, we, we have doctors come on here. We have people like you who come on here and talk about how we can help and, where we were screwed up and like i said if we could help just one person and curse back on the chat thread again and he said his wife's watching with him yep and his wife's like you do that shit all the time now yeah. hey, e easy easy mrs kirk like you know it's like <laughs> it's like it's easy to point the finger but yes kirk you probably do because we all do it and i'm not being a hypocrite by saying that you're being a dick when you're doing it because i'm being a dick when i do it too Right. Yeah. Like I'm just saying it's just the battle buddies. And then, and then uh, that book, that book, Bob Balance said he read it. He loved it. So yep. that came on the okay. chat thread. Somebody said That's he read no it. He loved it. So real quick, just like not a hit on the VA. I just think they're understaffed and they, they just don't have the capabilities. Like some they're states are great. Yeah. yeah. And then and some other states like you're in El Paso, like waiting for four or five months. That's concerning. I, I still but then there's classes. like I heard the VA out here in Phoenix is great. 
Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, so I heard the Phoenix one's the great, VA too. and Scott Air Force Base reached out to us to use us to help them. We go speak over there every now yeah. and then. So we also do large speaking events. That we've been to third, all the special uh, forces groups and, and SWIC. Um, we've, we've done that. We run retreats for them as well. But um, other than counseling 365 a year, we also, well, we're ending those this year and moving into a different form. But we did retreats every year for couples, up to eight to ten couples for a four-day extensive retreat. That's but awesome. The counseling goes on for as long as they need it. it yep. If they need more than counseling, we'll find a way to get it to them. You know, um, and the idea is not to keep you there forever either, yeah, which we is want to awesome. Yeah, people out the door and, and healed, not like yep. you know, the chiropractor that keeps coming back to make money. We want you feeling good and healed. So our, you know, our, our counselors give you homework. If you're not doing it, they'll, tell you, they'll call you on it. They'll let me know about it, and I'll go talk to people. Like, are, do you really want this or not? Because you know, you're taking a slot from someone who might want it. So let's let's get real on this and get to work. Because some guys talk about getting better, and then they put in a, a, an effort for a week or two, and then they're done. Oh, I feel all right, and then they're done, and they fall off again. But this is a long time to it's change. Process. This is a process. No, that, that, so I, I, that's I a really good point because when we our first sponsor of the show was uh, a former paratrooper who started muscle activation. Uh, a thing out in California and he works on veterans for free and to help ease their pain and stuff like that. Uh, and, but he had always says like, like, when I talk to veterans, I go, look, man, I was like, I can do this, but if you keep doing what you're doing with your life, it, you're going to, I'm going to see you again in a month. Then I'm going to see you again in a month. I'm going to see you again in a month. I was like, I could see you for two months. And if you change your life, he's like, this will be gone. Like you will no longer have pain. So that's exactly like, it. Yep. He's like, I need you to sign up for saying I'm I'm gonna be committed. So that's a that's a different you know level of treatment, but it's or different aspect of it, and but it's still all nested together. That's a that's yeah. A, that's a buzzword, buddy. Buzzword nested. 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 Yeah. It's like people will get the what I say is right. Yeah. It's like people will get the Stella shot or they'll they'll go through a form, they'll do ayahuasca or something, and they're like, I feel great. I feel amazing. My life's changed. I'm all and better. it's it's amazing. I, I love that they get that sort of surge of hope again and that surge of like, I can live a normal life and it's I, I can get there. But the problem is that they think that's it, that that's it. Like, I got the shot. I'm good now. Or I went and did ayahuasca. I'm good now. You need behavioral change because what Tom just said is very true. And I think even working alongside you guys, I saw like, hey, listen, so much of this is muscle memory. So much of this is training. And, you know, guys that are like, I, I don't think I have PTS. I'm like, no, this is straight up muscle memory. This is that yep. AAR process that you sat in that you're bringing home. You have to break that habit. Ayahuasca is not going to do that for you. You have to learn it. So, Jen, there, there's right a question you, in the right chat, right? Said that, it says, is. are there resources to control, alt, or delete? Or delete? one's brain and we install an uncorrupt program. So yes, and no. Ayahuasca major, a couple of times. I've, I've heard veterans go on the ayahuasca journey and, and you know, it's very successful. Yeah. So I don't absolutely. know if you, if you could hit on that real quick. We, we both did the five MEO. We've done a ton. We've done Stella. We've done five MEO. He's done TMS. We've done transdental meditation. I mean, everything. We've gone through nine different types of therapies over the last seven years. So the I guess the, the yeah, what? It I'm sounds sorry. like some fucking satanic have shit. You like, <laughs> have you prayed to the owl? Have you prayed to the owl? Uh, <laughs> I have not prayed to the owl, but not yet. I, I mean, maybe I should. We don't have enough money. <laughs> we need more money. Donate <laughs> yeah. first so I can pray to the owl. Twenty five thousand dollars uh, is for uh, that place well, in California. Yeah. If you pray to if you pray to the owl and you're broke, the owl just looks at you. It's like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> and then you become a sacrifice for the owl, right? And you you sacrifice possibly. Yeah. Yeah. possibly. But anyway, back, back to you guys. Yeah. No, yeah. you know, I think the resetting. I've I've been I've been through a lot of modalities of healing, and I've I still fuck can up. Spell and, can you spell modality? Nope. And I still <laughs> fuck up in major ways, right? I still go down a path of. I'll wake up. I'll have a really bad day, and she'll know it. I'll be a dick, a real bad dick. The, the best thing I've been through, I mean, I've been doing uh, therapy the entire time. I've done these different modalities. When we went and did the 5-MEO, <laughs> it was one of those, what am, what am I going to expect about this shit, right? That was the worst shit I'd ever done in my life. Like Same. the worst shit ever. I've ever done in my life. And it was probably two hours, two and a half for me. I don't know. Hour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so two and a half times as fucked up as that was. But it was the best thing I'd ever done. 
it reset my entire thought process and brain. I actually went back to joy. So for six months after that, I was straight up. I think a normal. I hit, happy and you know what? In, being that had, that in had nine no years, issues. real quick, yeah. I, I, Luke is in the chat, and he said, "I can vouch that therapy as long as one needs it." Been with ASF therapist for two years now. Not sure if that's a good thing or not. Laughing, obviously, but <laughs> you're fucked up, dude. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> He's Kurt's been in therapy you for have five. Staff as part of this, Kurt. You should have been paying attention. Probably yeah. not a paratrooper. Probably a marine. Probably, probably marine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Kurt. Yes, we brought everybody that up like knows, twenty minutes everybody ago. Everybody knows share therapy should only take four appointments. Yeah, you know four appointments. Four. Four, four, appointment. four and done. Just, just, like, just like pain management at the, pain management the Army. Good. You get three pain management sessions and then you're chaptered. It's like, wait a minute. Yeah. Like, wait, how come I don't get like at least like 20 Plus some Motrin get... and some water. <laughs> you got to add that and then you are good to go. <laughs> some Percocet. Take, yeah, yeah, take a knee while yeah, you're at it. Piece yeah. of bread to fill the ulcer in your stomach. Yeah, yeah. but all right. I think I think we can move on to the, the next stage of the show, which is the AAR which is great where we get to you know make fun of buddy more uh which is pretty much all we use it for I don't have um, I don't have anything. Now, but as we talked about those of you watching if you're watching for the first time we really appreciate you uh we've had a really good audience today uh really interactive never really dropped below 20 20 live viewers so it's it again we're not the answer to your problem better in trash talk is, all right better in trash talk is the conduit to finding the solution to some of your problems Right, I can spell conduit, so I used it. Right. Oh, I say good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, I can't. I can't. Oh, hey, well, I, no speak, uh, I speak a little bit of German. I thought to bend it. That's another language <laughs> I speak. <spoke. laughs> hey, everybody. Trilingual, yeah, buddy. Trilingual. No Dave, big deal. Dave says he's Wait, what, trilingual. What language, Dave what says he's trilingual. The only reason we can't call him on is because we don't speak the language he speaks. Hey, Dave, he speaks, so Dave, we don't what, really know. I have German on my SRB. What language? What languages do you speak? German and Italian. Oh, oh German, shit. Italian, and English. So you, so a full yeah, English, thirds, so so a full two thirds of American the language buddy. You, the, the <laughs> full two thirds of the languages you speak got their ass kicked in World War II. By Americans, it's, uh, statistically speaking, I don't know. It's, okay. it's a fact. How but, is uh, that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. so we can we can we can probably. I'm just thinking that it's a, a fun fact. Yeah. Right, that, that you speak a bunch of fascist languages and, yeah, yeah. and think that it's cool. Well, hey. no, I think it's cool to be trilingual. You are absolutely right. No, so we can. But um, yeah, it's all right, buddy. Trilingual. So, I'm trilingual. <laughs> this is why we it's love the dumpster. It's fire. trilingual, so, three languages, right? And yeah, good looking, yeah. buddy. What's yeah, what's, two? what's two? What's two? Bye. Bilingual. Yeah. Bilingual. Yeah. Yeah. What's what's yeah. what's one language? Idiot. <laughs> American. American. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, American actually is the second language. So you got you American, got, you got English, and you got American. You got American. American. I speak so American. It's actually two dialects, but uh, mm, I speak several dialects. Now, for the for the AR, for like I said, for those of you watching for the first time, we really appreciate it. Those of you are you know our fans that are always coming on. That's great. Uh, <laughs> Rob, here comes a dumpster fire. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, here it comes. So our <laughs> our logo is a dumpster fire with beers over it because that's exactly what the hell we all are. Right. And the, the more people you can get around the dumpster fire, the better chances you have of surviving it. Damn okay. Right. So we, we try to bring everybody around, get everybody involved. And again, with uh, the All Secure Foundation, you just met the people who started it. So if you don't like it, don't give them any money. Right. Like who cares? Right. Like if you like it, here they are. All right. This is what they do. This is how they help. So again, it, it, we can we can we can say you know Tom should have been a Navy SEAL but he wasn't uh, mm. and you know he went Delta Force instead and I so what you know, character were you in Black Hawk Down like what you, not were, character, were you the guy, what, were you who the guy the trained character. you who yeah. betrayed he, you who threw the, the grenade in the window was it yeah. you did you throw the grenade in the window nice he's shaking his head no, I didn't know that I did actually. oh my gosh thought, how'd you know that huh? no. I thought that was Hoot no Hoot did not throw the grenade in the window because we had Hoot on the show too Hoot did this. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he went like that, and then so you're the guy who threw. No, no, I know what grenade I, I do. My two or three. You That's know the guy favorite. who was running across the street that that like okay, so it was uh, Josh now, Hartman. <laughs> Josh ahead, ahead, Hartman was this. doing it. Hartnett, sorry. Yeah. Um, who is a real Matt Eversman? But Tom was the one that was running in the street because he was the, the youngest. No, no, that's running to get no, not the saw part where they went no, to go get the water, the bullets back yes, and forth. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, yes, I'm yes. the I'm the young guy, right? So, <laughs> hey, the... Tom, I'm like, what the fuck? 
Go out there and get the. You know, I'm on the fucking ground and it's dark and there are people shooting at me. I'm trying to pick up all the bullets that exploded in the street. And then, like, hey, we need the water. Go out and pick up all the water and I bring it back in. Like, hey, house across the street need water. I'm like, well, what the fuck, man? So I had to run across. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, Tom, those rangers got blown up on the corner. Okay, go get them. I bring them in, pack nuts and thighs. Hey, Tom, there's saws outside blown up. Go get all the big parts. I'm like, what the fuck is Tom, 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 Tom? You know? And so, so we, we well, the newest guy got blown up and he was laid up. So I had, I was then the new guy and had to go out and do all that shit. So were you part of the initial, you know, and everybody is like, Black Hawk Down is one of my favorite one were you part of the initial when when they landed on the rooftop to go get um al shabaab or whatever his name was like <laughs> sounds, right. sounds about right but were you part al of that Shabab? initial push or did you did you come in later our black oh. hawk was uh we were infilled outside the perimeter due to the brownout so we had to fight our way oh, we had to fight, into the the house, fight through the rangers <laughs> and then fight into the target <laughs> And then, and then, oh, we're ready to go home. Like, no, we're not going home. We're going over here now. So I was like, well, fuck. All right. So that was one of those. You were also one of the ones that when the um, the guys pulling the tank open at the end yep. and they close it, they yep. closed it on him. So he ran out with you know, a mile. You know, how many people you, can you get in an armored vehicle? One more. Not that fucking night. You know, <laughs> open, that morning, open the door and he pulled it shut. I'm like, well, we're not getting in there. I was like, well, there's no room inside any of these. So but okay, they were supposed to stay we'll, with you. We'll walk along the vehicle as cover, and we'll, you know, we'll, you, okay, and then a couple bullets fly again, and they drive off. I'm like, well, fuck. Oh, here we are running. So we just took off running. But so, I, and I don't want to keep talk about, you know, but like compared to like all the war movies that I've seen, I, I, I do because I'm, I'm like <laughs> fascinated with Black Hawk, and I think it's crazy. Hey, like we had who? Shut up, buddy. Nobody's talking to you. I don't well, we had, you're, you're a special forces girl. guy, okay? You're not that. <laughs> we had Hoot on the show. It was a dumpster fire. You know, we had Newton on the show. Like, it was amazing. Like, just the stuff that you talked about. We talked about my safety. He kind of told us the real story behind it and everything. But after watching the movie and not witnessing what you witnessed, would you say that, you know, a lot of it is, obviously, everything's Hollywood, right? They're going to, yeah. they're going to, but, like, I feel like, personally. Like, did you from, really make it the window? Because, like, <laughs> personally, from, like, seeing the movie and then reading the book what? of the pilot and then reading the book of the pilot and everything, I threw a grenade know, that didn't go off like his it. experience with Shugart and Gordon, like, everything that occurred like feels like that movie was pretty close to what occurred obviously you know i'll give you i'll give you the truth it, yeah y'all been there you know i don't know what the fuck my person to my right or left is doing when someone's shooting at me because i'm fucking looking that 100%. way yeah, so for fun. me to tell He's anyone else's back. story is a fucking lie and i'd be making it up right so if someone if someone so if someone says hey i did this and i rode a donkey and a dinosaur and then fucking threw grenades i'm like I'm not going to tell them they didn't because I couldn't have seen it because I was focused on the dude trying to right. kill my ass. So right. I saw the movie and I don't know. I was like, did that shit happen, man? Were there rangers running down the street like that? I don't fucking know. I know what I did and what my team did. And I know how fucked up my little corner was. Yeah. But other than that, I saw the movie with everyone else going, well, did that shit happen? You know, I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's, right. what, that's what uh, Norman that's, said. Yeah, Norman said that goes, most of the things that happen are from other people's, what they saw. And they mixed, you know, yeah. they mixed stories. And one guy did yeah. what maybe three or four guys did. So when you say, who of portrayed course. you? I'm like, well, I did one yeah. of those. I did that. And I did that. But but Schumacher, Schumacher, plus there is no way. Board, when I read the book I, of the I, pilot, I, I, I want to share, I wanna share yeah, When I read the book of the pilot, who also wrote a book about Shugart and Gordon, you know, and how he got out of there. Like their situation down there, from my understanding, that was, you know, pretty accurate. I mean, they were there, they secured yeah. the site, and yeah. then they got overran. Yeah, I had people you know? watching it the yeah. whole time, too. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. got overran, yeah. you know. Yeah, Dave, but what he's saying is he wasn't there. That's why he's here. right, buddy. That's that wasn't my question just now. Like you should, so you should pay more attention, buddy. Answer the question because nah, I think we should. Buddy, stop getting stuff. triggered. I actually, I, 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 I actually have. I'm gonna go turn on my hazards here in a few minutes. Man. Just don't <laughs> fuck with you. I have, I have a non-heroic <laughs> grenade story. Hey, hey, do you guys want to hear a non-heroic grenade story? Always. Yeah. Where, is okay, so I didn't. But no, but I threw it right where I was supposed to. It just didn't go off. All right, so like, but it actually went. It went in the window. So my team leader went on leave. So I took his grenade, right? Because now I have two. So I'm super fucking cool, right? Like everybody specialist, else only specialist has specialist one control. Specialist control's got two up. grenades now, right? And uh, God, well, well, our PL gets hit, or one of our Joe gets hit, and you know we, we're in this, we're getting this ambush, and here goes specialist control maneuvering. I'm I'm about to fuck people up, right? Like I'm going, like I'm doing it, right? And so. Like all of a sudden, this guy taller than me, like 
passes me. But the only guy taller than me in the platoon was the PL, and he was supposed to be wounded. I was like, I was like, hey, I was like, he's like, what? I'm like, stop. And he's like, what? He's like, I'm like, tell them dickheads to shift fire, you know, because there's like 50 cal tracer around just pinging everywhere, you know. And he's like, he's like, oh yeah. And then he fucking shoots off a flare, and then they fucking shift fire. Oh yeah. They go, and then like there's a couple dead guys there, and then there's like, then there was shoot coming out of this building that they lasered. And I'm like, it was all blown up and there was this hole. I'm like, we should frag it, you know? And it's like, yeah, fuck yeah. You know, so like, I, <laughs> so I grabbed this grenade out, a freaking basic training style. I swear to God, I looked at the thing backwards, I bump, doom, bam, do this, bam, you know? And oh, I, isn't I, it? Don't I, you, I, what's the stance? I forgot. <laughs> and I, yeah, there you go. Exactly. There you go. Exactly. No, 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 but this, 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 this is a bunker. So I'm laying you down. You gotta right? do it like this yeah, too. So, so, I, so I go to your chest. <laughs> And I drop it in there and I roll and I got my ears drop plugged. Ball. Right. And we're waiting. We're waiting. We're wa- son of a bitch. <laughs> so Do you take the rubber band thing. off, damn it? Yeah, well, yeah. No, no, that's what it was. Tape was my team leader we taped his grenades. I yeah. didn't tape I didn't That's tape what it always grenades. is. I didn't tape my grenades. So I was like, why would I take the tape off that I didn't put on there? Right? So it was like Oh. So you didn't look at the grenade at all, did you? Nope, I didn't know yeah, I, nobody I, does. I you know how many bangers good. people have thrown and they, ah! <laughs> like, yeah, fucking rubber band, right? Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but that's my what non, a great that's show. That's my non-heroic oh. great story. So uh, here you, uh, here we go again, guys. Uh, if we don't have to end it, if you guys have time, because this is always fun. Yeah. But um, just again, the AAR is the All Secure Foundation. Go check them out. Uh, what was the name of the book again, Tom? Arsenal of Hope. Arsenal of Hope. All right, check that out as well. And again, if you need help, which you probably do. Real quick, right. usually our guests, when they come on, they always send us a book. They uh, usually do, but he's dealt with. But this is Chris. We'll send you books. This is Chris. Thank you. We'll send you books. <laughs> you, know, you know, Norman sent us whiskey and yeah. yeah. like, uh, so, like, he did. We don't have he whiskey, did. but. We don't support, <laughs> we don't support drinking alcohol yeah. at all. That's not true. <laughs> Yeah, it's not oh. true. Yeah. It's not true. We don't like we don't like we don't like whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. true. That's true. We'll send you Tito's. Yeah, there you go. Hey, Tito's just sponsored the Ultimate Sacrifice Foundation, who we're partnered with, so they're awesome. Tito's is Cheers. Good. Yeah. Um that's why Dave's got some European shit here. That's what happens. Oh, that's because he's European. Really, it's the real life of European. Oh, oh, oh. But hey, all, 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 <laughs> my buddy's so triggered today. I yeah. love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, and then I'm gonna end it, I'm gonna end it with this. Remember, we all get triggered. Like I'll probably get triggered six times. And if tonight. you don't like it, it's just a tip. Just a tip. All oh, right. So hey, rotworksclothing.com. Yeah, and then veterantrashtalk.com. Right. Same thing. Same company. Right. Just whatever. We just change names so that we can do tax things. All right. So anyways, like, uh, don't be a triggered pansy. Okay. Like you can be. Unless triggered. they have their four ways. <laughs> Unless they have their yes, buddy. <laughs> 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 and put your hazards on so everybody knows that you're a pansy. All right. That's, that's all funny. That but all right. Hey, you let, guys have the final word. Final yeah. word, Tom, Jen, and then Dave will close us out. Oh, my God. This has been great, guys. Uh, you know, final words. God, I, I, I'm always giving serious final words, but I, I tell you what. Welcome to the I would party. I would agree with you to quit being triggered, right? And just do do nice things. I always say smile, and, say something and. nice because it changes everybody's day and it changes your day too. And I guess that would go right along with being triggered, man. It's Facts. not being triggered. It's just let it go. Let it go because if you're triggered, that's your fault. Right. It's your trigger. It's literally just words. Your trigger. It's your trigger. Yeah. And like, I, you know, I think so much of it is that, like we've talked about, you you might not even need help. You just need training in something you haven't been trained in before. No. So we're happy to do that for you and be that partner. It's a really simple reach out and we can help you in any capacity. So we just make it super easy to get trained or retrained. Awesome. And before Dave closes this out, you feel free to share on our platform anytime. So share awesome. whatever whatever news you got going on. And, you know, thank you. Appreciate out. that. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for having us on. Yeah, thank you for you my know, cheeks hurt. On and you guys are awesome. Service. I love it. Thank you for your service. You know, oh, thank you all for your services. <laughs> all of your services, I want to thank you for. Yeah, yes, hundred yeah. percent. You guys are awesome. I love what you're doing. I love you know the the, the holistic approach and just kind of like really deep diving into the 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 issue, you know, and, and not like hey, or take these medication, you know, take these meds right here, because we know where where that leads to. 
Um, for everybody that's tuned in late, go to veterantrashtalk.com. Check out our website. It has all the links to our YouTube, Spotify. We're on Apple Podcasts too, right? We're everywhere. I don't even know how We're to huge. Find it. Yeah. <laughs> huge. Shop.veterantrashtalk.com gets you some of our awesome products. Okay. Just a tip. Quit being a trigger pansy. Gruntworksclothing.com. Same thing. Um, you know, follow us. Do what you need to do. Thanks for tuning in. Wish y'all a happy Saturday. We'll catch y'all next week. Face man VTT out.